runway, motion sensor, trolley, weights stored on trolley, thread, pulley, weight at the end of the thread. Data logger, computer. Open Data Studio, select Create Experiment, scroll down and look for Motion Sensor. Dra create a graph, drag Velocity onto the Y axis and resize the window to full screen. Select a linear portion of the graph, choose fit and linear fit. The slope of the graph is equal to 0 0.26 meters per second squared, which is equal to the acceleration of the trolley when it's being pulled by 0 0.1 newtons. For 0.1 newtons to the end of the thread. One, go. The slope is now 0 0.59 meters per second squared, which is the acceleration when the trolley is being pulled by 0.2 newtons. Transfer 0.1 newtons to the end of the pulley. It is now being dragged by 0.3 newtons. The slope is now 0.87 meters per second squared when weight of 0.3 newtons is pulling the trolley. F is equal to 0 0.4 newtons. F is equal to 0 0.4 newtons. The slope is equal to 1.1 meters per second squared. <laughs> the slope is equal to 1.5 meters per second squared when the trolley is being dragged by a force of 0.5 newtons. Transfer the last weight to the hanger. F. F is equal to the slope is equal to one point seven meters per second squared. We're going to check whether the trolley will move at a constant velocity if there is no force applied. Velocity is decreasing slightly due to friction. Force of
gravity should now compensate for the force of friction. The velocity is now practically perfectly constant.